Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, shout out to all you uh, Liverpool fans, I'm playing Chef United tonight, good luck to them. Uh, right, straight down to business. Shout out to all you people that have just subscribed as well. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the red button below and then you get your porky fix straight to your phone so come on let's grow the movement <laughs> grow the movement how cringe is that well what we're trying to do here we're trying to be different we're trying to think outside the box to grow the channel now i don't want to be like everybody else sat on the fence who don't have an opinion because there's too many people in the box in boxing just do not have an opinion or they don't want to have an opinion they're just too scared to say anything and I don't want to be one of them people do I now what next for the body snatcher Dillian White well this is what I think for Dillian White next Hunter Povetkin Ruiz Parker rematch or the Chisora trilogy now I've already heard of a very good Reliable source that Chisora and Dillian White, that trilogy is always going to be there no matter what. That trilogy is always there. Alright? I've been told that the Parker fight is always there. That's probably because the Parker fight were a good fight and the two, two Chisora fights were. So there's three fights there that are barnstormers. They could end up with trilogies for both of them, so I'm going to bet money on it that they're going to have a tri trilogy with Chisora. I'll have a bet with anybody that that happens, and the Parker one. The Ruiz one, I think that might be a risky fight for Dillian White, very risky. Now, But Eddie Earn will want to capitalise on Ruiz's profile, won't he? They want to bring him back and say, what a one-off fluke, or is Ruiz in shape? If he is, it's going to be an hard fight, look. They can write scripts all day. You can anybody can do his job now. Eddie Earns, he's got Sky giving him a platform. Dazona giving him a platform, and then he's got all the little gimp squad from YouTube where they're giving press passes to. Plus, you've got Coogan there, who's a fantastic interviewer and, a, and an hard worker. But they're giving him the platform, aren't they? Coogan's giving Eddie the platform to do his thing now. If you look on every IFL video. Go and look underneath on the writing on the video on YouTube on your computer screen and it's got links for Queensbury, Matchroom, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua. So is Coogan Cassius employed by Matchroom and Queensbury? In other words, is Frank Warren and Eddie Earn are they paying Coogan? I'd say no. I'd say no, but what I will say is Coogan's got access to all their fighters and if Coogan Cassius at IFL didn't have access to Frank Warren fighters and Eddie Earn fighters where would that leave IFL in the boxing community where would it leave them would it leave them like Porky's Corner like me yeah it probably would but I can cope with that can they though we don't know do we Am I jealous there saying that? No, I think I'm just stating facts, but it can come over a bit jealous, can't it? But no, just stating facts. Now, Povetkin's 41, isn't he? Coming up 41. Ruiz as fat as a pig. Parker, he's got a win over Ruiz, hasn't he? So he's going to dine out on that. Hunter Drew with Povetkin. He's a small guy as well, Hunter. So I don't know what to make of it. But what I, what I do want to say is this. Dillian White. He's had four pay-per-views. But he doesn't. And he's been on undercards for pay-per-views. Dillian White doesn't seem to be pushing the boat out to fight for the European title, does he? He doesn't seem to call Caballel out. Joe Joyce. Dubois. He's not calling them out. They're all undefeated. So Caballel, Joe Joyce, Dubois. Dillian's not calling them out. They're all Euro level. Dillian's not been by British level yet. So 
Jillian's not been by. Sorry about that, Will from Kent, but I'm I'm filming and I can't be. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Dillian's not been by British level yet, Dillian White. Now, why is that? Well, I don't know, Caballero, that European title. And I've heard it's vacant at the moment, but I don't see Dillian calling out Joe Joyce, Dubois. You know, people like that, or Caballero. But yet he's calling out people like Povetkin, 41, coming up 41. He's calling out... Chisora Trilogy, Parker, who he's already beat, you know, and Hunter, and people like that, and Ruiz, fat as a pig. Why ain't he calling out them other guys? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Is Dillian looking at not suing the WBC for not giving him the Wilder fight? I mean, why ain't he jumping on the WBC's backs and saying, force this fight? I don't want to hear that. I've been mandatory and I'm I'm badly done to buy WBC. Do something about it. You've got millions in bank, Dillian. I actually think Dillian scares Wilder to death in a fight. Do something about it. Don't be waiting and waiting because if you wait until 2021, Wilder could get beat. So, like I said, why is he not calling out Joyce Dubois and Caballero? You know, Povetkin, Parker, Hunter, Ruiz, Chisora. They're going to be the next one of them five, isn't it, for Dillian? You know, I think we've just spoke about the IFL situation, haven't we? I want to give a mention to John Pascal as well. John Pascal has beat seven world champions. I know I always bring this up. He's got seven wins over world champions, John Pascal. Now, that's some feat, that. Marvin Agler's got seven wins over world champions. So has Sugar Ray Leonard. Carl Froch has got more than them. How's about that? What's he got? Ten plus Andre Dirrell. Were Andre Dirrell interim champion? Does that count? We'll call it ten then plus Andre Dirrell. Who were undefeated. Uh, let's have a look. Amir Khan, he's got, he's got 11 I think, can he? Lennox 14, so the Americans go on don't they about Hagler and Leonard but they had a lot of stiffs didn't they on the record. Now I was gonna, I'm going to save this one for a video on its own later actually, it's worthy of one on its own. RIFL now employed by Sky and BT, we've just mentioned that haven't we? Uh, why isn't the links on Coogan Cassius's videos on the advertising plus all the writing underneath and links to click on to stuff for Tyson Fury playlists, Anthony Joshua playlists, Queensbury promotions, matchroom, you know, uh, boxing, why a Sky and BT Sport, why isn't the links to Free Sport and Dennis Hobson Fight Academy or Steffi Bull and Steffi Bull's I don't think Steffi's got a TV deal though. Yorkshire Promotions we are and Ryan Rhodes. Why aren't the links to Steffi Ball and Ryan Rhodes and Yorkshire Promotions off, off Coogan's uh, videos? And Steve Goodwin and Tommy Gilmore and people like that and Mick Hennessy and Hennessy Sports. Why is there just links on IFL TV videos to Queensbury? Matchroom, Tyson Fury, Joshua. And, and adverts for them so the, the, them companies but nobody else if Coogan's not employed by them because if he's not employed by them he must be doing them favours but isn't he supposed to be neutral I don't know I don't get it I don't get it we've mentioned the Ben Davis and Tyson Fury split haven't we friends to the end Tyson says you know you were going stale and he wanted to fresh it up a bit Fair enough, I appreciate that. I see where it's coming from. Uh, we've mentioned about the training situation. We've done the Eddie Earn one, they've done the helmets. What next for Anthony Joshua? Will he vacate? As Warren has mentioned. No, I don't think they'll vacate. They'll want to take Pool F on. They'll want to just kick kick ass out of it. They'll want to rinse it. It'll be Pool F and then it'll be they'll try and keep the WBO belt in house so that they can make the fight easy. They're not want to let it go to any outsiders. It's called manoeuvring, isn't it? Look, Eddie Hearn likes to manoeuvre, he likes to play chess. He signed Lewis Ortiz to keep him away from Joshua. Right? 
He's a chess player, isn't he? That's what they do. That's how these people work. You know what I mean? It's how the game works, you know. Pulev's 39 year old. 39 year old when he fights Joshua. 39. You know, it's, Povetkin were, were nearly 40 when he fought Joshua. So he'd turn 39, Povetkin. These 39 year olds, the food and drink to Joshua, who's just turned 30. When you're fighting people 9, 10 years older than you, that Ali was shot to bits at 38 and that were Ali. You know what I mean? So, you know, Pula, 39. Povetkin were 39. You know, it's Vladimir were 41. I mean, it just goes on and on, doesn't it, for Joshua? Do you know what I mean? Frank Warren's right, it's just recycled rubbish, isn't it? But you've got to say Joshua's best, isn't he? He's got four belts and five wins over world champions. Wilder's got one belt and two wins over world champions. Fury's got no belts, but they're claiming he's Laniel, and he's got two wins over world champions. So Joshua's at top at three. So it is what it is, isn't it? So there's that way. So that's about it really. We've done the helmets of the decade. So Alright, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Robin Reed, multivitamins, that's the place to be for multivitamins. Former Olympic bronze medal and WBC and IBO world champion, Robin Reed. Uh, shout out to Innovation Alloys at Sheffield and South Yorkshire Package and at Robin. Thank you for uh, backing the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit that subscribe button and let's grow the pokey movement together. Boom.